Hi guys, welcome to Mel Scuba World on YouTube. So if you are a new viewer, don't forget to subscribe me and turn on that the notification bell so you do not miss any of my videos as I have new videos every week. So today what I have here on the board is basically we gonna talk about recreational dive planning. So us as a diver, we always plan our dive and we stick to our plan. If you dive with a normal air tank, we will be using a recreational dive planner table here. Yeah, right? Or you can use a ERDPML. It's an electronic one, right? So what I have here on the board is basically like a graph and elaboration of a few things that is in the chart. So how I explain to my student here when I talk about a dive planning graph to make them understand easier about certain things and how to fill in properly when they fill in on their dive log or when they plan it so it's easier for them to remember it if you tell it like a story. So, here we can say this is on land. As soon as you go down, this is why the graph going down. Then how long you're gonna be in the water? We're gonna write down our bottom time here. As soon as you come up, do you need to do our safe stop? Yeah? As soon as you come up, there is a pressure group that you'll be carrying some nitrogen in you. You have a number on you. This is why you have a pressure group. After you do a surface interval, when you're resting between dives, when you're releasing the nitrogen, you will have a different number that you will carry it for your second dive. So this is why the second dive is going down again. Then we are how long we staying in the water for is ABT, actual bottom time. Because why is it different as the first one? Because now we have the nitrogen that we are taking with us in the water, which is called RNT, residual nitrogen time. We pass this two, we know our total bottom time, then we'll know our new pressure group and so on so basically this graph right here we are making three dives so guys it is very very important to discuss with your dive buddies about maximum depth how long are you going to be in the water for how long you're going to do surface interval so that you can plan your dive safely and basically conservatively and safe okay so basically here what we're going to discuss it let's say for example i'm at open water level and my buddy is maybe advanced level i'm going to ask them first of all well i'm only allowed to dive at maximum of 18 meters are you guys okay to be my buddies and we basically will dive at 18 meters if they agree great if they don't you have to get a different buddy so let's say they agree and we want to plan the first dive at 18 meters okay so we're gonna plan the dive at 18 meters so then let's say I want to plan the dive about mm, maybe 40 mi minutes in the water and we're gonna do two morning dives let's say that's 9 30 dives we're doing one dive let's say just one hour surface interval for our second dive that I want to go to maybe mm, 14 meters and this one I want to stay longer because maybe I bring a camera so I want to stay at 55 minutes is that something that we can do then the third dive is where we're going to have our lunch so maybe I would say our lunch is for two hours and a half so we'll do a third dive 
before sunset and we're still a lot to do because I am in fourth and water level and I will do before sunset because um, I'm not even like uh, advanced yet to do the uh, night dive. So yes, I want to do three dives and I want to see if this is something that we are good to do and let's say okay the third dive we want to go to 12 meters and this one may be about 40 minutes or so because it's been a long day so let's say and see if this plan are a good plan for all of us so right now i'm using a slates first to go through here on the recreational dive liner which is we call it RDP we have this no decompression limit NDL where okay if in this graph this is all the depth and the black area here is where no decompression limit okay so if we go to 18 meters the black area here is where we do not want to reach until 56 minutes our bottom time okay which is no decompression limit so let's say if we are diving at 18 we do not want to dive for 56 minutes but if we do but accidentally right there is a emergency procedure here that what we need to do instead of doing our safety stop at three minutes at five meters there are certain uh, minutes that you have to follow if you exceed the NDL minutes so but we're not gonna get into that because we're gonna try to do and see if deep dive planning works well and we want to see if we plan it well and do we have to change anything accordingly so basically right now we don't have to change the bottom time because i don't exceed the no decompression limit right which is 18 meters here we do not want to exit till 56 minutes so yes we do not want to change that so this is a good planning so far Okay, so you always want to think about the NDL limit of each depth. Okay, so right here, right now, so we are going to 18, and this is where our minutes are. So 18, we are diving for 40 minutes. So basically, I'm just showing this is basically to refresh you how to still plan your dive okay so if you really really need to remember how to do this you should take a refresher course so this is something that i just show so that to remind you a bit how to do it roughly and like an introduction a bit about diving and how we plan it okay so 18 meters we go to 40 so we take a bigger number, we take 41, and we are not in a gray area. So safety stop is not required, and we are a pressure group P. Safety stop is not compulsory. So what I do here, I just make it max as an X, because we don't really need to do. So if we do it later on, on our dive log, we will write it down, because Patty not gonna score us if we are being more conservative. So now we have a number in our body that we carry, okay? So P, after P, we do our surface interval for one hour. So surface interval for one hour is right here. So now we're releasing the nitrogen in our body by changing our tank with some snacks maybe. Now we are an E, okay? So from a P, now you are an E. So that is a lot of nitrogen that you are releasing during your surface interval. So now just remember for your second dive, you have something in you which is an E that you will carry it forward into this bottom time. So now E, you need to bring it down and we need to know the number of an E when we dive at 14 meters so 
we don't use this, we use the one at the back. So we look at 14 meters here. Right here, 14 meters, okay? And we try to match it with the E. So 14 and an E, 14 and an E. So there is white and there is blue. White is where the nitrogen, residual nitrogen time and the, uh, blue is basically actual bottom time. So we're looking at the white one, which is residual because we need to know the number that we carry in that depth. Okay, so let me double double check. So 14 and E, we match it together. 14 and E, we are 24. So we write down 24 here. We need to plus this two so that we know our total bottom time here. Okay, so we have 79. To know your pressure group, we need to take the depth and the total bottom time now to know our new pressure group. So we turn it over to the main chart here. Okay, 14 meters for 79 minutes. We are in a gray area. We have to do the safety stop and we are a B. Okay, safety stop required, which is a normal safety stop, three minutes at five meters. Okay, so what if, if we are a V? Are we okay if we are a V? We are okay when we are a V. Only special procedure here if you are a W or X. A minimum surface interval between all the dives, it needs to be one hour, okay? If your ending pressure group between all the dives, or after any dive, sorry, is Y or a Z, a minimum surface interval between all dives is three hours. So right now we are a V, it's just that we cannot miss the safety stop. So our whole ring is okay and I have maybe advanced divers with me and we shouldn't have any problem to do our safety stop. So, so far, I think the planning is okay because we're not even testing our NDL limit, okay? So, I think we're gonna stick with the plan. It's just that we have to remember to not miss the safety stop. So, then we move on to the next dive after lunch. So, from a V, we want to take a really long break because we're gonna eat our lunch and let our food digest a bit. So, from a V, we are looking on this area right here for two hours and a half. Two hours and a half, we are here. We are a B now, so that's a lot. From B, from a V to a B. So let's say for one of my dumb says, Melissa, you know what? Can we be an A? Just because we are a B, right? We're gonna stick with this plan. It's just that I prefer we dive with an A in S, okay? So what do we do? We look at the V here and we try to be in an A. She said she wants to be in an A. So we try to match with an A. So the minimum surface interval when we are a V to falls under A is 2 hours and 48 minutes. So what we can say to our body is basically yes we can do that. So it says 2 hours and 48 minutes. Let's just do 3 hours. Are you okay with that? So they all say, okay, let's just do three hours so we can maybe um, eat our lunch while watching Finding Nemo. <laughs> Why not? So we're back to an A. Perfect. So now, from an A, remember again, we carry something in our body. We need to calculate the A in here in this depth, okay? All right, okay. So, let's try to do this together. So, we look at A and we match with 12. 12 and an A. Again, we look at white 
and we just carry nine in our body which is really nothing we can even dive longer if we want but let's try to see if this is okay 49 okay so now to know our new pressure group we take this and tbt to know our new pressure group and see if we need to do our safety stop so 12 and 49 way up here no safety stop even required and we totally safe and we are a k pressure group and no safety stop required so yeah that's how you plan your dive so yes you guys so thank you so much for watching my video and i do have more other related videos on diving tips diving facts and eco dive living under my description below thank you again for watching till then